after a good night's sleep and a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Uh, now I'm gonna go meet Ben. We're gonna go grab some steak. There's a new steakhouse in town. I feel kind of bad because I love Del Frisco. It's my steakhouse, but there's a new steakhouse in town. It's supposed to be really good. I'm gonna go try it out. I'm gonna tell you guys how it is. Wheel of Fortune 35th anniversary. Whoa, I wonder if Pat and Van is in there. Having watched Wheel of Fortune since I was a little kid, I'm fairly convinced that Pat and Vanna, they're vampires. I'm so cold right now, I'm legit thinking about buying like that tiger thingy. Mastro's Steakhouse. This is a really fancy steakhouse. And it's a chain as well. I just got to New York City. I'm so excited for steak right now. So hungry. All I had to eat this morning was a pint of Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia. That's not enough for a man. Look how fancy that logo is. There he is. What's up buddy? <laughs> yeah. So are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. First impression: this place is really dark. I mean, it's it's really dark. You know what I'm saying? It's known for I saw it yellow. It's it's known for being dark. Yeah, it's known for being dark. I saw that yellow. Does that make it make your steak taste better? I I think it's supposed to be a more nightly kind of atmosphere. Yeah. They have people singing and stuff around. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good though, right? I mean, the food looks good. Yeah, the, the reviews are crazy on Yelp, yeah. so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Excited, so I don't know, can we get a bread basket? I hope we get a bread basket. <laughs> and, wait, there's a butter cake? What? I saw on Yelp, like, people were saying the butter cake. Butter cake? Or something like butter cake. Oh, they got A5 Wagyu. Yes, we do. Is this real Wagyu, that's, Japanese Wagyu, or American? Grade, um, From Japan, yes. Kobe. Well, it's Kobe mixed with an Angus steer. That's yeah. what Wagyu is. Yeah. But that is. But it's, it's from Japan. A5. It's not it's like A5. okay, it's A5. All right. Yeah. What are you thinking? Are you gonna go Japanese? No, no, yeah. I'm not gonna go Japanese. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that's too rich for me, bro. It's Australian beef. This is Australian Wagyu. Well, I mean, that's oxymoron. Wagyu means Japanese beef, but Australian steak. I really want to try this. Do you like shrooms? Yeah, man. I like shrooms. shrooms and, uh, Only the stir fry kind, though. Oh, sure. I don't know. We'll see what they got. I mean, you know, I don't want the other kind. That's bad for your body. Oh, that, you mean that makes you that make, <laughs> see things. We can have those too while we're eating steak. Here. How's it compared to Del Frisco so far? Uh, so far, service is very good. But Del Frisco service, when they when they give you good service at Del Frisco's. Better at Del Frisco's. I service is still good. It's still good. I, I agree though. I agree with your with your sentiment. Del Frisco's comes and they just like they like it almost seems like they worship you at the table. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a different. Oh, this is like little garlic crackers, pretzel roll. Oh, it's all warm and toasty, dude. Nice. This is awesome. It looks like a little sourdough or something. Briquette. Oh man, can't. <laughs> I'm so cheap. Come to the steakhouse and it's like that's why I love pretzel roll. Wow, real good. Real toasty and nice. I might have to give them points on uh, bread basket here. Really good bread basket. Oh, garlic. Crispy bread thing here. Mmm. The tomahawk for you, Oh, sir? thank you. Look at this. That's beautiful. Very hot plate. Please yeah. be careful. Wow. Oh, it's got a porterhouse. Yeah. That looks oh, good. This is a ribeye. Rib you got this, man. Do I finish this whole thing? You'll finish it. Look at that. It's not even that big. That's like my steaks as kid. This is the stir fry mushrooms with uh, truffle sauce. This melts in my mouth. Really? And it's got a crispy char to it. Wow. Crazy. That's big words, man. This is the Australian Wagyu. And yeah, this is the char on the outside. Let's cut into it. It's cutting pretty easy. I'm trying to cut with one hand, so it's a little off balance, but the cutting is not difficult. All right, so some extra bread. A lot, a lot came. All right, here it is. As for medium, it's not exactly that pink in the middle. Yeah, I think this is more medium well than medium. I don't really see like too much pink in here. I mean, I'll try it. I'll try to see if it tastes good. Wow. Oh, send it back. Send it back. That's that's a shame, bro. That's a shame. How much is that steak? $115. Send it back, bro. For a $115 piece of steak, it should taste a lot better. So Ben is really enjoying his steak. Yeah. Steak is okay. It's got a nice beefy flavor. But for a $115 steak, I don't think it tastes better than the $90 steak I've got first time. It's not a bad steak. It's just, I think value-wise, if you go to Dr. Frisco, get a $90 steak, it's more value than, than this steak. 
They actually were nice enough to recook my steak. And it's a lot juicier now. Pretty tender in the middle. I still don't think this is worth 115 bucks. Nothing like gnaw on a bowl after a good steak meal. Yeah. It's not bad. It's good steak, but I think that $60 thing that Ben got actually tastes better dog. Her cake here. It's different than I thought. Did you think it was gonna look like this? Uh, I thought it would be smaller. Now this, and they give you fresh whipped cream. Here, here, dear, you can have the fresh whipped cream. They just gave Ben like like a whole separate pack of bread. Yo, it's warm. Too. That's awesome. That's that's yo, that's great. They gave you butter. They give you butter. Yo, that's awesome. Yo, you're gonna eat that right after you get back to the office. Yeah, I'm gonna stuff stuff my mouth. That's pretty good. Shoot. Look at this. Hot. That's a lot of bread. Yo, that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, let's let's try this uh, this yeah, butter cake. Tell me, tell me it's like so it's like oranges and strawberries and ice cream. A little whipped cream on there. There's a little crunchy on the outside. Really sweet little citrusy from the sauce. Ice cream. You gotta have the ice cream there. Where else? That cake alone will a bit too much. The inside is really moist. And it, this needs the fruit because without the citrus fruit, it's gonna be a little too like, it's just a little too buttery, a little too sweet. This is a great way to finish the steak meal. Ben, how was it? I don't think we're coming back. You don't think we're coming back? It was good, what I had was good. Yeah. But I don't think we're coming back because. Uh, I think it was okay, the steak Del was. Frisco's, I mean. The steak was okay, and by the way, yes, Ben is this much taller than me. <laughs> like freaking insanely tall. Uh, but no, it, it was good steak, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like $115 steak. I don't think it was no, really. You should be basically caressing that steak, boning how good it is. Yeah. And you were just like, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it was okay. It's, That's like, not, it's tender, it's okay, but not, yeah. I don't feel like it's, it's like that much better than the $90 steak I get yeah. at Del Frisco. Also, Del Frisco's, I feel like the service is better. The service is amazing. The service is better. Service, service makes you feel so good. You have such a good, warm feeling yeah. at Del Frisco's. Yeah. And I think the bread here is better. What bread was good. Bread yeah. was really good and here. The cake, yeah, the really cake. Good. What do you think? Lemon cake or this cake? Like the lemon cake's really lemon good. Lemon cake's good. Lemon cake's really good. Yeah. Always fun eating lunch with Ben. And now I'm gonna go meet my other friend in Queens. You gotta meet her. She's really cool. All right. This is my friend Winnie and Brendan. Hi. And we're gonna go get some soup dumplings. Winnie's Winnie's a genius. We're gonna pick her brain a little bit on finance stuff. I, I know nothing, so I just know food. Let's let's go eat. Okay, guys, um, it's it's very rare to have Winnie because she's so busy. She's like she's like usually on like Fox and CNN and boom, like 20 billion networks giving out financial advice. So I'm gonna steal her a little bit. I mean, we're eating, so so we're gonna ask you some some like financial questions. But when I was in college, I, I'm not proud of this. Don't do this, guys. When I was in college, I would get a credit card for a T-shirt. That doesn't even fit me. <laughs> like, it was like yeah. my, my wardrobe was filled with double XL oh, t-shirts. Like t I do, <laughs> but they didn't even fit me. It was like, yeah, hey, you know what? You get, I get a t-shirt for for like filling out a credit card application, right. and they would lie to me because they're like, yo, you can just like tear up your application or uh, tear up your card when you get it. Right. That's a lie, right? That is a lie. Well, you technically you could you could close your credit card as soon as you but get it. But it's not good for you. But it's not really good for you. Although the one thing that is good for you is your first credit card. So I don't know about you, but I got my first credit card when I was at college. You should have at least one good credit card, right? Yeah. One your name. And getting it through college is not a bad idea because it's easier to qualify when you're in college. So get that first credit card and hold on to it forever. So make sure, number one, there's no annual fee. And if you do get a credit card, pay it off every month. Set up on auto pay. Yeah. I, Don't try and remember. But let me ask, does, so does having too many credit cards hurt you? Yes. It does? Yes. Because when, like, let's say you go to buy a new car or to lease an apartment and they look at your potential leverage on your credit cards is this much money, even though you don't have that much debt, it looks like you could go out tomorrow and go shopping like crazy. So you look more risky versus a person maybe has two credit cards and has, you know, a reasonable amount of debt. Does it lower your credit score if you have two credit cards? They can. Okay. And what kind of credit card should they get if they get one? Well, I really like the credit cards that have no annual fee, right? Okay. Like, um, some of these credit cards, they, like, for example, Visa is great because it's something you can use everywhere. Yeah. Make sure it has no annual fee. Don't worry about having not a huge spending limit. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. You want to be capped, especially yeah. when you first start off. As you develop more credit history, credit cards will give you more, more, uh, 
get leverage. So don't concern yourself about that. And if you don't travel, you don't need to worry about travel points. So the tip is, uh, well, make sure, make sure you guys pay off all the amount right yes. away. Otherwise, you get charged Number like 20%. One yeah, interest. Don't get too many credit cards, no matter what they say. No t-shirts. No t-shirts. Basically, a credit card is making money on you every month. Yeah. They're like the best investment in this scenario. So they're winning when you're losing. So spend as much as you can pay off every month. Set it up on auto pay. I even do this. Set up an auto pay so it just literally pulls it right out of your bank account. As soon as your paycheck hits your bank account, let the credit card take what you've spent. And then, not only this, here's my tip too. When you spend, whatever you buy, stick it in the corner of the room. Okay? Staple your receipt to the bag, sit it there for two weeks. If you can live with it for two weeks and not have it, take it back. Just yeah, return. okay, Dad, we have to return everything in my house. Um, <laughs> one, one more question. All right, so what is the optimal amount of credit cards we should have? Because I got like, I have like, I have a little less than the 20 I had before. Mm -hmm. I have like seven now. That's yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean. But they all give me so many benefits. They do, but here's the thing I would say. Like, what if you lost your wallet right now? Like, which credit cards would you remember to cancel? How quickly can it get like done? One. Um, but, but does it hurt my credit? It does. It does, it does hurt your credit if you have too many credit cards. Because let's say you have a draw of 5000 on yeah. one, 200 on one. Yeah. All that is potential debt. So when when you're looking to rent a new apartment or buy a house, you're like, well, Mike could all of a sudden leverage 20000 because he has seven cards versus you know you're only spending Spending, let's say 500 bucks. So what's the optimal number of credit cards? The optimal number, there's no perfect optimal number. I know personally I have three cards or four cards max because it's easy to keep track. I've got one that's you know great for travel, one that's great for business expenses, one that's great for cash back. Okay. Alright, alright, good tips. Don't don't have as many as me, maybe three. Thank, Thank you. you so much, and uh, I promise you I'm gonna get us some soup dumplings up. Here we go! We got the scallion pancakes and we got the, oh this is so good, this is the wontons, hot oil wontons. We're gonna have to get two of the hot oil wontons. I'm never usually the one to stop people from ordering stuff, I'm not, because I over order all the time. I think your eyes are bigger than your stomach today because, I'll tell you what, I just had a steak. You guys saw that, I just had a steak. You just ate. You had fried chicken. <laughs> it was good though. And, and then you bought stuff. Like you ate at a cafe right before. It was one cookie. Okay. It was a thin. Alright, well we'll see how yeah, look, when, if you want to order more, I'm all on board with you. So you have, let's let's eat this. See what see what we'll see where we're at. See where we're at. Yeah, that is true though. Right now, when I'm in the presence of my tin, my eyes get bigger than my head. It's the Mike Chin effect. It does happen to people. Because yeah, I think how often well, I was gonna say how often I come to New York, but then I'm like, I actually come to New York a lot. <laughs> But yeah. flushing, I don't come that often. But no, I, I, I'm totally on board with over water. I am, I am. That's You guys know, I don't under water. But we're going to eat this. I sense this is going to be a very flattening friendship. <laughs> it always is. Let me let me show you guys like the, the mixing it's up the wontons. It's a friendship, sorry. Yeah, it's a filling. It's for, oh, there you go. Oh, how clever. Yes, so good. Oh, here we go. Crown Jewel, the soup dumplings. I always get uh, one of each of their dumplings because it's worth it. It's first time having the soup dumplings. Do it, do it. Wait, they say Brenda. Okay, they say Brenda looks like a Korean K-pop celebrity. He does. Do you know which one? We've been shocked. We don't know. But let me know if you guys know. This is the hot oil ones. Go ahead, Brenda. Wow. Yeah. Really and Brenda's only has soup dumpling from Ding Tai Fung. Okay. Here you go, Brandon. Um, so there's soup inside. So instead, besides like the Ding Tai Fung one, which doesn't have much soup, this thing is filled with soup. So you wanna, you can't eat. So how are you gonna do it? I don't know. Take this part off. No, 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 no. Take a little bite and drink the soup first, so you don't burn yourself. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, oh. There you go. That's a lot. That's a lot of soup. Stuff you don't find in Ding Tai Fung. Put a little ginger and uh, and vinegar on there and you can eat the dumpling. What a cool experience. All right, you like it? Is it better than Ding Tai Fung? Ask me later. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, Brendan, I'm so, 
It's so different. Sad. We it's gotta, very different. We're gonna question this taste buds. This is really cool. They just sent over this dish. This is the. It looks like spinach. Uh, yeah, this is spinach on top. This is. Ooh, sesame seeds. Dumplings with uh, with spicy dumplings, chicken dumplings. Check it out. The dumpling is it's, it's shaped differently. Look at this. It's shaped like a star. No, I like that. That's juicy. Juicy. That's really good. Spicy. Oh, I dig that. I'm gonna have to order this uh, this dish from now on. This this chicken dish. Yeah. This what chicken this chicken thing is, is insane. Eat the chicken dumpling. Let's see what he thinks of this. A little spicy. A little spicy. Very good. Yeah. Better than the soup dumpling. Yeah. Just for a fleeting moment, we weren't gonna be friends anymore. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, th I think you're right. It, it, this this is still the king. Their chicken soup here will, yeah. will cure you of like any flu you ever had. Really? I don't know. Even stomach poisoning? No, 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 that won't help. But it's so good. It's so tasty. Why is it, Mike, that everything you film just looks so much tastier? Well, you gotta you gotta exert your expression of love to the food that you film, and I love all this. So, so I think it loves you back, Mike. Yeah, you, you gotta feel it. You gotta show the love. And the Food loves you back. Do you feel your soul being warmer? Yes. Yeah? Did you have this last time, Winnie? I did not. Try it. Well, that's good. Yeah, right? It's really rich and it's got this really strong body to it. It's not just like the light soup that you're using to use for chicken soup. It's got like, it's got a lot of soul, a lot of body, yeah. a lot of flavor. It warms you up. Anytime I have a flu or cold, so good, man. It is so good. But so seeing you eat it makes it even more good. Trust me, guys. Chicken soup, come here. It's so weird, right? Getting chicken soup from like you a Chinese place. Here. Yeah, but come here and get the chicken soup. I get it every single time. Every single time. I feel like stronger. After this, let's go lift a car. This is a crown jewel of this place chocolate soup dumpling. All right, let's watch Brendan eat a chocolate soup dumpling for the first time ever. Nutella and a banana. Yeah, it's yeah, good stuff. We're doing a lot. By the way, if you want more financial advice, go follow my friend Lee. I'll have her uh, information, YouTube information, in my description box. Really smart lady. Like, oh, thank you. you gotta give me some. I mean, I'm done with money, so. I'm smart because I have this. Thing. All right, it's been a crazy food day. You full? Yeah, totally. Oh, all right, I'm gonna just try to drive home after this. Am I safe? Can I tell you? See you next time. Yeah. Hey, see you next time. Very soon. Hi, Brendan. Bye.